Gentlemen, uh, they say the in the Philippines it's more fun here with whatever you do. So instead of uh, the regular question and answer, we'll play a game. The mechanics of the game is um, this is the Q and A. This is the Right. Um, the mechanics of the game is. Uh, you'll pick a question from the bowl. When you get it, there's a corresponding uh, question for every number there is. Then, please approach, take a selfie of yourself, identify yourself, and then I'll ask you the question. And then after you answer the question or you do the consequence, point at the next contestant you want to pick an, uh, an answer to. You, well, you can do it from there. It's okay. So, um, who would like to volunteer? Mr. Honduras. Alright. The picture. It was gonna be with the picture. Picture? Okay. I have number three. Number three. Number three. Nice. Yeah, nice. The selfie. Selfie. Put the bus out. With the number? With the number? No, it's fine. Just the selfie. Your best selfie. Alright. <laughs> what luck? Okay. What you're going to do is number three. I'm going to play um, a Filipino song, a classic Filipino song, and then tell me what your thoughts are when you hear it. Are you ready? What my thoughts are on a hair. Oh. Yeah, you can dance to it, you can comment to it, do whatever you want. Perfect. Let the music take you. Understood. All right. Here's a classic Filipino song. I hope you like it. <laughs> What are you thinking, man? That's bringing me back to Broadway, like a classical <laughs> theater play with some classical music. I can see women dancing with long dresses and maybe some men seducing them, running around them. Some flowers around. The audience going crazy, clapping along with them. That's good, that's and good. And some very talented woman singing in the back. <laughs> All right, here's the new OPM song. Let your body move to it. And what do you think is she saying? Yeah. Wow. I'm feeling you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're doing yeah. it, man. I like the rhythm. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you think she's saying? What is the song about? Enjoy your body, feel it, enjoy yourself, live the moment, grab the girl, bring her to the dance floor and dance with her. <laughs> I don't know, I can't speak. The title of the song is Chambel. What do you think it means? Chambel. 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 Thank you, man. <laughs> That's one. Thank you, you're done. Now, you choose which one to follow. Which of Puerto Rico. Mr. Oops, wait, Mr. Puerto Rico. Where's the photo? Oh no, I'm choosing this one. You need the mo this is the most important part. <laughs> you can do wacky if you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. And okay. question? Uh, question is number four. Number four. Number four. Alright, this is an easy question. It's a serious question. Which portion of Mr. World is your favorite? Which portion? Of oh, Mr. World, which part of the contest? Which part? Which, part? Ah, part. which part of the contest is your favorite and why? Hmm. No, my my favorite part was when we when we go to the uh, Two Life Foundation, you know, at the, the social world because that experience I, I never imagined that we would have that kind of experience and it, it fulfilled me in, in the inside because I I felt you know the, that kind of energy of those kids and you know. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it, and I cried at the moment. So that, that is a, a very emotional moment that, that I love so much. Thank you. You think you'll win? Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I love my brothers. Every, everyone has the, the same opportunity. So let's get to the competition. <laughs> Thank you. Can you put a, a hand over your eyes and then point at the next contestant you want to play? <laughs> okay, I know, I know what's going on. India! Oh, yeah. 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 India, wait! Oops.
Yep, yep. Come on, support the board. Can I go for a video? Uh, yeah. yeah. A video. The video, video. There we go. To Mr. World. Yay! Yeah. All right. There you go. And then your question. Yes. Well, <laughs> number five. Number five. All right. I'll show you a photo. Wait. Here is a photo. Maybe you recognize recognize them. Here you go. All right, guys. Oh wait, I'll show it to the camera. Guys, here's a photo. Oh God! See, you know them, <laughs> guys. Cat and Miss Catriona Gray and uh, uh, Pia Words back. They are our uh, Miss Universe. Okay. If you were to get trapped in an elevator, who would you like it to be with? Uh, Catriona or Pia, and what would you tell them when it gets hot? <laughs> uh, it will be definitely Catriona. And I'll tell her, hey, here is Mr. World and Miss Universe together. Let's rule the world. Hey. Rule the world. Hey. But which one? If you're only to choose one, Pia Catriona. or Catriona? Cat why Catriona? I love her like the moment when I saw her in the blue dress on the stage. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, um, the next contestant, uh, I'd have to pick you, sir. Uh, 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 yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you, you, you. I hate joking. Come on, Ghana. Ah, you. Again, 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 again. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Hey family, you are all here, man. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could come inside. Like, do you know, man? Come inside, come inside, come inside. All right. Uh, he knows his angle. <laughs> Am I good to go? Yeah. 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 Hey, Mr. Boy, he popping. Thank you, my home. Thank you too. What? What's your number? Number two. Number two. Number two. Hmm. All right, number two. It's a hard question. It's a serious question. World peace depends on this. Describe your favorite body part. What do you do often with it? And point to that body part or show it to the camera. Did you get the question? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, Describe your body part. What do you often do with it? Point to it or show it to the camera? Damn. Okay. <laughs> I would say, um, <laughs> it's so hard to say. Think about it, oh man. Think about hey, it. I'll say it's my butt. To be straight speaking, it's my butt. Yeah. And I'll be pass? like, can we pass? Oh, yeah. Keep <laughs> popping. <laughs> Among the boys here, who do you think is your biggest threat? My biggest fun. Threat. Threat. Oh. <laughs> to me, I'll say everyone is a threat because everyone is a winner from his house. If they were losers, yeah, yeah. If they were losers, if they were losers, they wouldn't have been here. Not at all. They were winners. They were winners from their country before they were coming. So everyone here is a winner. Whether win or lose, together we stand. There's a there's a there's a word saying, every every uh, every step, uh, every a thousand miles begins with a what? It begins with a step. They begin that uh, thousand miles with a step from their country, and now they are here. We are all here. The, the crown is only one. The person who win, we support him. The person who don't win, we all cheer because we came here as family, and we are living here as family too. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Because we have to pick a contestant. If you were to choose someone that you suspect is the loudest snorer in this room, who would? Who is it? Who do you think is the loudest snorer in this room? The loudest snorer? Okay. Please point to that guy. Russia! No, I just, uh, no he, he was just saying that uh, 
about the Red Square. He suggests people to visit the Red, Red Square because there are like a huge, it's a huge place and uh, there are lots of uh, people and uh, huge walls and palaces, so it's very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing people should stop thinking about Russians, what would it be? Uh, excuse me? If there's one thing people should stop thinking about Russians, okay. what would it be? Uh, what should it be? Uh, uh, no. uh, um, very more people think uh, Russia to the every uh, cold uh, to very more uh, beer and Russia guys uh, drunk to vodka. Uh, this is no serious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, and then point to the next person. Austria. Austria. All right. Since there's only one, oh, selfie. Selfie. One of the favorite dish or one of the favorite desserts of Filipino is called aluhalo. Yes, I know. You, you know how to make it? Can yes. you demonstrate? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's a good challenge. Can I say a couple of words? So since, so since my mom is from the Philippines, obviously I know halo halo. Um, but I've, haven't, I've had it in Austria, but not yet in the Philippines, so I'm going to make some. So, Can you walk them through? Yeah. Yes, we first start with the shaved ice, of course. It's already very watery, so this is not a good prerequisite, but we'll work with what we have. So we take the halo halo, and then you can add whatever toppings you want. I'll take some of the jelly, I'll take some more jelly, and then you can also add fruit. We're gonna go for the healthy version here. Sarap! No? <laughs> and then we'll take some bananas, and some more jelly. How about that? That's great. Gusto more? Yeah. Yeah. And then we also need to top it off with some milk and he some knows, sweet syrup. He knows right? his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy knows what he's doing. And then I actually don't know what this is. This vinegar? That syrup. is syrup. That is uh, water with sugar. Ah, Grab we need that. We need that we need for halo halo. So we're gonna add the syrup right here, and then. You can also add some chocolate, whatever tastes your fancy, but I love chocolate. Right. So go with chocolate, boom, there you have it. You grab a spoon, this is what it looks like now. And then for the halo halo, you always gotta mix it, right? And there you go, halo halo. Halo halo, all right. Yes. In your country, which dessert is equivalent to halo halo? It's just delicious. Oh. That's a very hard question because halo halo is very delicious, but I think the closest is probably regular ice cream, unfortunately. But this is more special. Which flavor? I love chocolate, but we have all the flavors in Austria. Thanks, man. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Let's choose our next contestant. This is the other way. He aced the halo halo challenge. Yes, and now he's going to choose oh. the next one. <laughs> he's already uh, back. Panama. 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 Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna translate for him. Alright. Uh, I think Mr. Panama, the viewers would like to see more muscles, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Say that again? Oh, Derek, like, uh, is supposed to be the beauty on the inside, so <laughs> what I have, <laughs> Well... Thank you, man. Your question? 
Take your number. Four. Number four. Four. Number four. Which portion of Mr. World is your favorite? Bueno, mi parte favorita de lo que va del concurso fue la visita a Tuloy Center. Uh, his favorite part of the of the pageant so far has been our visit to the Tuloy Foundation. Eh, compartió con los niños y fue una experiencia muy bonita. Eh, todo el día que nos regaló la la organización Mister Mundo. The whole day spending with the kids that we were given the opportunity by the Mister World organization was a blessing. Y otra de mis partes favoritas es la comida de todos los días. <laughs> And another. <laughs> Another part that he enjoys a lot is the food here in the in the in the hotel, the Filipino food. Which one? The 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 I think it's fried rice, his favorite part, his favorite food. And your favorite, uh, if you would recommend the cuisine from Panama to a Filipino, what would that be? If you would recommend a dish from your country traditional, what would you recommend? The tamal. The tamal. Tamali. What is it? It's a mix of rice. It's corn dough. That is filled with vegetables. Filled with vegetables. Ya de proteínas se le puede echar puerco o ya sea pollo. You can put in as protein, chicken or pork. Thank you so much. De nada. All right. And then choose the next contestant. USA. 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 Pick your number. Pick selfie. I'm gonna pick one here. I said that. You're gonna kill me again. Oh, so. Take your best selfie. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go Number five. Number five. Okay. If you were to get trapped in an elevator, who would you like it to be with? Katrina Gray or Pia Words back and why? Um. Wow. So definitely with the lava girl, Katrina. I mean, she's amazing, amazing. I got to meet her in 2016 um, in Washington D.C. and um, I got to speak with her a little bit, and I got a lot from her, and um, it was pretty amazing. Honestly, I thought she was gonna win Miss World. She didn't, but she did an amazing, amazing job. And I believe that things happen for a reason, you know. So yeah. You have a girlfriend. I do. Can you describe her, please? Ah, uh, <laughs> she's amazing. Um, she's my everything. Um, she's beautiful, awesome, supportive. She supports me and everything, and that's why I really love her the most. Um, she trusts me so much, and yeah. Even in the Philippines, you have a girlfriend. What was that? Even in the Philippines, you have a girlfriend. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Mr. Finland. Your question. My question is number three. Question number three. The reaction question. Reaction. The reaction question. All right. Last five minutes. Uh huh. What are your thoughts about this song? 
Is this the same song? Damn it. Yeah, it's, it sounds so classy and, and like this. It gives me this feeling of this uh, beautiful place and people who have dressed well and like dancing like like classic classic music and, and like that. All right. Yeah. And, and this is a new Filipino song. What do you think it's about? And how would you move to it? Uh, excuse me. How would you move to it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it's the song about? About summer. About summer. Yeah, in Finland we have these four four seasons, and we really love summer because it's the only time it's it's decently warm in, in Finland. So we just really love summer, and I think this song is about summer. Thank you so much. Thank and you. since we're down to five minutes only, we're ha you'd have to choose our last contestant. Thank you. Last contestant. Who wants to be? Who wants to be the winner? All right. Nigeria. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's alright. One, two, and... Yeah. Alright. Get your number. Alright. Two. Number two. Ah, very easy. Describe your favorite body part. What do you often do with it? And point to it or show it to the camera. Uh, my favorite body part, my head. Um, what I often do with it, uh, that's because... My favorite body part is my heart. Oh. Why? Because um, that is where everything about us comes from. You know, the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So from what someone says, you can know what your heart is thinking. So that's why it's my favorite part. Will you point to it or will you show your heart? <laughs> I'm pointing to it right now. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, Good luck. Good luck. Gentlemen, thank you. Can I teach you? Yeah. Um, can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us the most memorable experience you've had in the Philippines? Um, so, hi guys. Um, I am Fizzlim Kiza, Mr. World South Africa. And uh, I mean, there have been so many memorable moments, but the one that always sticks to the fore of my mind is when we got to go to the Toloi Foundation. Um, not only because we got to get inspired by Father Rocky, but because I had such a very heartfelt interaction with one of the beautiful girls there um, and she just kind of reminded me that a lot of the times you take for granted the things that we've been given. Um, coming from where I've come from I've always felt like I've worked very hard for the things that I've had to get and I appreciate that because I'm somebody who loves the, the end result and the process but just meeting her and, and kind of telling her one day she needs to be a doctor because I mean I'm a doctor and I'm like she can come work with me and I can teach you all the things that I know and she seemed surprised. She was almost like oh no, that she can't think of those things. And it's, it's, it's insane that she thinks that she can't dream of a dream. Um, and, and those are the things that push so many people. And for me, it, it was just something that told me that that's something that needs to be highlighted. A lot of us here could have never imagined ourselves here, even a year ago. Um, so that's the most important message that I try to spread. That's the one I told her. And I made her promise that she was going to come down to South Africa and um, I was going to show her all the things she was going to be amazing at if she wanted to. And yeah, that's what I'm going to take home to run above all these beautiful people here. Tell us more about yourself. You, sure. you only uh, gave your name earlier. Yes. Oh, um, so as I said, I'm Fizzi Kize. I am a 28 eight-year-old medical doctor, I'm going to be a heart surgeon um, and I'm also a television presenter and one of the most amazing um, TV shows in my country, um, number one, um, and I'm also a model. Um, so that just allows me to see people when they aren't at their best, they're injured, they're sad, they've had something go wrong, but my TV program also highlights great things. If somebody climbs to Mount Kilimanjaro, if somebody goes out and does phenomenal work outside of the world, they highlight that. 
and that's because I that's really love the human condition. You have a girlfriend? Um, sorry, I do have a okay, girlfriend, an amazing, amazing girl. Uh, she's a yoga teacher and a doctor as well. I don't know, maybe I like doctors, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit biased. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Side view, side view. Side view, side view. Side pose, side pose. Yeah, do a three fourth, you don't fit. Wait, 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 three more, three more, three more. One more time, please. One, two, three. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's pop. Okay, guys. Thank you. Maybe we have group B. Group C. This is C. Next. All right, group C. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Since I wasn't able to introduce, let's continue here. All right. Put it up there, Shane. 